I think that politics of the G20 is, uh, is about themselves as G20, not about Africa. I don't see any, anything to show that the G20 is interested in what goes on in Africa other than how they are going to benefit from what's happening in Africa. Because, for example, when you look at the global, the compact, the compact is about getting investments, investment opportunities for, from Africa, for companies in the G8, G20 countries, but not helping Africa to get out of poverty. Yeah, investment is okay, but what kind of investment is it? You know, we infrastructure investments get out of get Africa out of poverty. No, it won't. No, because Africa needs investments. Africa needs infrastructure, but infrastructure alone can't get Africa out of poverty. Because already Africa is undertaking a lot of infrastructure projects a lot of energy-related projects like dams, railways and roads. But poverty levels are going up because there is no production. So we, we can't use the railways, we can't use the roads because there is no production. Um, the compact really is about um, like I said, investments uh, in Africa. Um, it's about changing our policy framework, our regulatory framework, our microeconomic frameworks to, to be beautiful for investors. And there is no guarantee that when we do that, we are going to get credible investors investors who can be able to add value to our economy, investors who can be able to, to promote sustainable development. There's no guarantee. Um, I think what needs to be done, because already Africa has a number of initiatives, and also globally there is uh, the sustainable development goals, which clearly indicate what needs to be done. I think for Africa, the issue of um, structure transformation is very critical, increasing agricultural productivity, but also linking it to industrialization so that you have backward and forward linkages. Because in Africa, 70% um, of the population is in agriculture, so we need to take that into consideration. If you are to get Africa out of poverty, that's where we need to start from. But we need also to consider the youth population, a huge youth population, unemployed, so the industries can be able to take care, to take care of the employment challenges. So whatever investment we put in place has to look at the natural resources, Africa has, add value to them, be them minerals, um, uh, forest resources, uh, ocean resources, they need to be exploited but value has to be added to create employment and also to, to ensure that we export value added, added products. It's difficult to make demands to, to the G20 because G20 is a club of rich people. Um, it's, uh, it isn't uh, a club which is uh, globally, you know, for everybody. If it was an institution like the WTO, the UN, you can make demands. But it's really difficult to make demands to the G20. For the G20, again, I don't expect much because whatever they want, 
as G20. That's what they are going to do. Um, on the solidarity uh, meeting, I think we need to look at alternatives to addressing the issues facing us as human beings globally. You know, uh, challenges of uh, inequality, challenges of absolute poverty, challenges of, you know, which make people desperate, you know. And this is what's causing all this immigration, you know. So we need a global solution, you know. We need to address these um, issues objectively instead of looking at making more money out of, you know, people's miseries. This will cause more poverty. This will cause more desperation and it will cause more problems. So we need to address issues of alternatives to what's going on.